How's everybody doing? Hope you're having a fantabulous day, night, morning, noon, evening. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> if you haven't already, get you something to drink, get you something to eat or something to snack on. Give me some cheese. And uh, I fixed breakfast, and I'm gonna try to show you with that cat sticking his nose in my food. Hang on, people. I fixed um, fried eggs, homemade biscuits, and uh, bacon, and pasta slices, and tomato slices. She made the biscuits the old-fashioned way. My granny taught me well. If I was going to pray, we are going to dig in, people. <coughs> going to dig in. Got a shovel? Lord, thank you for this day and your blessings. Thank you for all that you're doing. Give us help and strength through this food. Help us to be a witness and a light to this world. In Jesus' name, amen. You probably hear my cat over here smacking. The mascot. That's what I call him, the mascot. Everybody loves him. He knows when it's time to eat, too, don't he? Uh-huh. Here's the bacon I fixed. Hope it tastes good as it looks. Basically, the only thing that I fixed on this was a tomato. Mm. She fixed everything else. It's good. I'm drinking now. Uh, what am I drinking? <laughs> Dr. Perky. Dr. Perky. And I'm drinking a mixture of. Uh, don't forget your straws. Cherry Pepsi Zero and Coke Zero. If you want to get out in the mess, I don't know how it is where you live, but my God, it's insane. If you're wondering what that is on my biscuit, oh. that is Musselman's Apple Butter. Somebody wanted that bite. We didn't get that. <laughs> she made herself eggs over easy because she likes having her yellow running. What are you smacking? And she made mine where she basically busted the yellow, turn over and fried them before we didn't have to worry about it. And we both got the cheese on them. So. You smack in the face? Don't hit her again. Yeah. <laughs> I got him. These biscuits would be excellent with some gravy. Have to do that again sometime. Mmm. Wouldn't it? That was good. Get clear. Stop. <coughs> the tomato that I used that I cut up was about the size of a tennis ball. I know you guys love my cat on the table, but he gets on my nerves. He even shook his head, no, I don't like it either. The heck he don't, he gets to eat. Mm -mm -mm. Overall, we had a pretty busy day today. That's the breakfast, like the breakfast my grandma used to fix. <coughs> apple butter. She fried the bacon, and we kept the bacon grease. Mmm, that's good. Aunt. She's gonna put that in the future dish that we're gonna fix. To fix some greens in, or <coughs> one of the other types of vegetables. I can make gravy out of it, or yep.
when she asked me how I wanted my bacon done, I said, I want it done. She said, how done? Do you, do you want it really crispy? I said, well, I don't want it limp. I'm not going to say what I said otherwise. It ain't limp. See? Oh, yeah. It had a little oh, blue pill. Oh, oh Paul. <laughs> But everything is good, my dear. Went to Tennessee Hills, and we only had like 30, 33 people there. That virus has got everybody staying home and scared and fighting for toilet paper. That's a nice way to put it. Yeah, that's a nice way to put it. We heard that one of the local grocery stores were taking fingerprints for people getting toilet paper with them. Isn't that just a little bit extreme? I, I think it's stupid. Got to do it to bank. Get your thumbprint or your fingerprint, you know. That's what they're doing. For toilet paper. And I can understand that they was going to be getting bullets, or even it's going to be getting a rake or something. A, a what? Rake. Oh. Something other where you could take and <coughs> knock some over the head with, or even a shovel. But for toilet paper, it's just a little bit of string. People's worried about toilet paper. <coughs> if you ain't got food to eat. You're not going to poop to use it. Makes no sense to me. I'll tell you one thing. We get, up, we get over this mess, Lord's willing. This old girl's going to can this year. Knowing her, she'll probably show you some of her. I'll show you. I want to show my cousin how to do it too. <coughs> Best biscuits I ever made. I may have left them in the oven just a little bit too long. No, oh, it's just fine. You like them like that? Well, want that? Me now, to me, they're just a little bit too done because they're kind of crumbly. But the way that Tammy made them, <coughs> you, I just barely grabbed a hold of it and it pulled apart uh, right yeah, in the middle just as if I took a knife now. and cut it. And I mean it. And she did the same thing just now. Ain't no sense in that one, Cat. Why aren't you two getting along? Maybe they're afraid somebody's going to get in their litter. Oh. <laughs> <coughs> they were talking about perhaps running out of toilet paper and stuff over our Tennessee Hills or not. There's a guy said, well, I've got a corn patch back behind my house. We've got all kinds of corn cobs you guys can use. Sears catalog. I mean, all kinds <laughs> of jokes. <laughs> Socks. I've got some socks that uh -huh. don't uh, match. We can use them. I was thinking, I can use your socks. I've got socks at the house I can use. No, it's hey. <laughs> You want the rag? God, you're hateful. Well, we were gone almost six hours. So the cats and the dogs and the guinea pigs, all of them fussed at us when we got back. Oh, she's awful. Especially Boots. I haven't done it yet, but like I said, I'm going to get a video of the way he acts sometimes when we get home.
<laughs> Master's giving Tammy the stir down. <laughs> took a tomato and cut it in half and gave her guinea pigs each half of it. One of our pigs is over taking the tomato, throwing it up in the air and catching it. He's enjoying it. He's chatting his teeth. He seems like he's mm. very happy with it. I see. It won't be too long before we'll be able to give the guinea pig some fresh grass from around the place. Might use that for toilet paper. We'll have <laughs> We just don't have a fig tree around here. Hey! <coughs> I've, I've, about, I've had about enough of you. Let's stop it. I got a notebook pad we ain't used to. <laughs> <laughs> We can really line things up. <laughs> well, we'll get a water hose put in. Hey, we need to use the one for the dishwasher or the washing machine. <laughs> no. We'll be that way. I don't know if it's true or not, but I had heard that some of the big places in uh -huh. England. Like for hotels and places like that where they had a, a community bath. All of the people would go into this one place to do their business. And they would have a jet that would shoot up to clean the rear end with. We don't need nothing like that. That's why we had toilet paper in This is such a lovely conversation when trying to eat. At least it's all clean. I just have to say this is a good meal. Hey! Hey! Look at yon yon. Yon yon, bro. I'm going to eat. A few minutes ago, the cats were messing with each other. I tried to get the cat that was causing the problem to leave the other one alone. And That's boot, enough now, boots. Boots. Get him, get him, boots. He goes after their cat that was getting attacked, not the one that was attacked. He does that a lot sometimes. <coughs> this bacon's just right. So. Mm -hmm. We've got a body. Can't get it. I think Mask is done being in showtime. Yeah. He's laying down. Maybe he's just tired. <coughs> or he's trying to contemplate how to move the camera. Which I can see him doing that. He's actually got his tail up against one of the legs of the tripod that the camera's in. That's how he moved it last night or the night before, whichever it was. We it was moot. Mm -hmm. It was requested that we made a breakfast video, so here you go. This is the breakfast of the champions. Because she's a champion. Who are you second up for? You don't want me to answer that question. <laughs> <coughs> well, tonight at Tennessee Hills, Lightning Charlie was there. And if, and if any of you do not who, 
if any of you do not know who Lightning Charlie is, he is a singer, songwriter, and he plays his own music, and his wife goes around with him. He has his own band, and he does comedy skits during the time while he's singing and stuff. Who was, who was hilarious to He done really good. <coughs> no. There's a lot of people that when you have just one person that plays music and sings, they won't come to the Tennessee Hills. Because we've had just one person come to play. We'd have the house band play, then they come after. Half of the congregation, the people would literally leave when that person got up. A lot of it was because it wasn't very entertaining. They just played and sung. They didn't talk much or they didn't entertain. Lightning Charlie, he actually does entertaining while he's doing it. He tells jokes, stories. He's, he's really good. <clears throat> like I said, if you can pass that crowd, you're going to make it. Mm -hmm. They are tough. A lot of the people are older in age than I am. And they know a lot of old, old songs, and they was requesting them tonight. Thankfully, he knew a lot of them. Some of them he didn't know, and, they, and he, one of the men that made a request brought the song up with the chords. Lightning Charlie was sitting there, and the man had the phone in front of him. He wasn't sitting there, standing there. Oh, anyway, let me finish. No. The woman, his wife, I'm a, had the phone in her hand in front of Lightning Charlie, and he was watching the chords and the words, singing it and yeah. playing it at the same time, and didn't not even not know him. what it was. But he did it, and he did, he did good. Wrong now, that's cat, wrong cat. Person. That no was there. <laughs> I want you to quit. Oh, I don't feel too hot today. No, she's a little bit cold. There's some oh God. We had a, oh. um, he got you. a family get-together on my family. Oh. Oh. There were people that had birthdays <laughs> in March. And my sister was more or less in charge of everything. She had a baked potato bar, you might say. Oh, it was good, too. Some of the baked potatoes were, you know, were humongous. It, one potato filled me up after I put all the ingredients on it, but I had it covered in cheese, a shredded cheese, um, liquid cheese, chili, let's see here, bacon pieces, ham chunks, um, broccoli, and it's three or four other things that she had, even in ranch dressing. And then beside the potatoes, the regular potatoes, she had sweet potatoes. I didn't get one of them. I didn't I'm either. I was so full, I couldn't get one because it looked so good. And then they had ingredients to make a salad with also. I got a salad and I got a baked potato. By the time I got Tennessee Hills, I thought it was going to pop. <laughs> I got that one baked potato and it was humongous. I wasn't able to eat the salad or anything. The girls got me out on the floor dancing. I'm stuffed. But I danced anyways. And she looked good doing it. Paying for it too. Oh well. I'll be paying for it later. Are you going to be paying for it? 
Mm. Hard to pay for electric bill. Oh, don't even lie, my girl baiting you, hateful butt. <laughs> I'll have the sore hand for massaging her because she'll be sore. That's how I'll be paying for it. <laughs> Get the hateful look out of your eyes. My goodness, woman. He will be massaging my knees. Explain yourself. That's what I said. I was not going to be massaging you. Oh, God. Here comes, here comes ignorant girl. Whatever. Yeah, her her knees are swelled up pretty badly. Oh, they swell. You can't. And it hurting, so. I can't do nothing without them swelling. Have you lost your mind? Have you lost your mind? Oh, we'll come up here. We'll come up. <laughs> Come here. Mask. Come here. Come here. Mask. There you come. Now, I don't want to see your butt. <laughs> I don't want to see the one I've mossed her. Yeah. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. I'm going to start making them their... I'm going to start making homemade... Cat food and dog food. I'm not gonna buy this dry crap. In the first batch, I'm gonna get a whole chicken to make it. It's not really hard to make, and Lord no, I don't want to hear anybody's mouth in the family. Oh my God, because it don't cost that much. And you'll end up being cheap in the long run. Oh yeah, a lot healthier for them. And you put it in a. Uh, Freezer bags. No, not freezer bags. What a kind of... Hey, now that is enough. In a real tight sealed container, and you put it in your freezer, and that'll last a month. And you get a little bit out every day, thaw it out, feed them. Boots. Now you're getting too rough. He's getting excited. Because this cat food and stuff is just. They're throwing up. I said put your one eye monster down. <coughs> they throw up every day, I'm tired of it. So I'm gonna start fixing. And the person that helped us get the um, ingredients in the, the cat recipe. Food. Cat food I got myself and the dog food he's writing he's writing down for me. Well anyways, um he's our pastor. They have two dogs. They got three dogs. Let me finish. They have two dogs that are in the house that yeah. I seen. They've got three in the house. Well, anyways, they've got one that was in the house that just laid around, didn't have any all, energy or anything. All three of them, he said. Well, that just tell it. They, they, well, if you tell it right, I wouldn't have to. He said that they would, they wouldn't play or nothing. They just laying around, and I think they threw up too. I think I'm not for sure. And and uh, if you do your research and look up stuff that's in it, in the dog food and cat food, that they they put. Animals that's been put down, they grind them up and put them in dog feet and stuff. And Apo ain't nothing but, uh, not Apo. What is that kind of lady like? Oh, Roy. Oh, Roy. Oh, Roy ain't nothing but sawdust. So, you better do your research. Yeah, they, they put in the animals that have died out in the field. Oh, yeah. It's uh, euthanized you and stuff and everything else. So, the ones that have cancer. So, if you. Buy some food that has an animal in it that had cancer. You're feeding your dog the animal cancer. So, you know, we treat ours like like our babies. Well, they are our babies. He's in a loving mood. Oh isn't God, he? yeah. He loves mommy. <coughs> he loves his mommy, and we we definitely take care of our animals. So, the first batch I'm going to fix is chicken, the second batch I'm going to fix is fish. After they eat their chicken for a month, they might, they might get tired of it. You're talking about with the catch, right? Yep. If you could hear his purr, my goodness. 
He's purring up a storm. He's a beautiful cat. He's a pretty, pretty baby. He's a happy boy, too. Look at him. His ears held down. Well, guys, hope you enjoyed the video because I sure enjoyed this meal. Yeah. <laughs> breakfast is my favorite. Hello, you show your nails yet? Oh, I forgot to show you my nails, guys. I'll put the bling bling on. I told you to quit. I'm not going to say you just got my eyeballs knocked out. And she done every bit of that herself. Yeah. She put the nails on, painted them, put the bling bling on. Every bit of it. She done herself. Nobody helped her. Um, give me a thumbs up. <laughs> Don't forget to share the video. Give me a like. And don't forget to push the notification bell. Ding, ding, ding. And I love you guys. Love you, love you, love you. We're going to get off of here. I'm going to download this. Clean up a little bit. And just... We're going to relax. Relax a while. We appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the new subscribers. If you got any suggestions you'd like to see us do, let us know. If we you don't, want a shout out, let us know. We don't do um, um, like hot peppers challenges because I can't. I have stomach issues. <laughs> if you can see what's going on with the dog and the cats, you They're know what playing tag. Yeah. But um, we're going to get off here. <coughs> and we will see you tomorrow. Love you guys. Thanks, guys. Tell everybody about us. God bless. Appreciate it.